The Open Media Center, in partnership with Malagan and UNESCO, commenced a three-day training program for senior secondary schools nationwide. This initiative is part of the project strengthening the national infrastructure for peace to promote social cohesion in the Gambia. Funded by the United Nations Peace Building Fund, the training focuses on media and information literacy aimed at combating hate speech and fostering responsible digital citizenship. The project aims to equip and empower young Gambians to become responsible, critical and ethical citizens in their online interactions as part of the ongoing efforts to combat hate speech. The project launched its implementation last year by organizing the National Forum on Hate Speech, an event held in conjunction with the 2023 UN International Day for Countering Hate Speech. Additionally, it has provided training for over 170 senior secondary schools nationwide through a series of national and regional step-down training sessions, which concluded in April 2024. Speaking at the opening ceremony, Keba Jefang, the head of monitoring and fact-checking at the Open Media Center and Malagan, provided an overview of the 3 d program. He emphasized that the focus on students aged 17 and 19 was intentionally as they are transitioning into the real-life situations. Um, some of the schools here benefited from the four stages. You know, I think uh, in total now we, are, we have trained more, about 200, inclus including this activity here, you know, across the country. These are mainly students between ages of 17 and 19, because normally it's from grade 10 to grade 12. We target you specifically at that age, because you, we see that you are moving you know, into a real life scenario. You are now able to have access to that information. Social media, you are, having, you are owning your own mobile phones, owning your own social media accounts. The information we do normally come across on this platform are too are too much you know even for the adult much more you know people at your critical age so it's important that you know um what we call information dis information disorder information disorder is there and that the presentation will cover that in the future but it's basically you know talking about hate speech how we are dealing with that online not just hate speech but also disinformation information that are not true. Most of it, you will know it by its common name. You say fake news. But then when you look at it, you know, it is so compounded. You have many issues there. And then f um, for this presentation throughout, we're going to take you through all this uh, level of information disorder. Apart from hate speech, we have uh, disinformation and misinformation. These are two different things, you know, but then they are too ramp rampant in the Gambia, you know, and then we are dealing with them. Ngenar Yasin Jeng, National Project Officer for UNESCO's Infrastructures for Peace Project in the Gambia, expressed hope that following the training, participants will return to their schools and communities to share their knowledge. They hope participants will engage in peer education and feed their friends and family the best ways to interact with the media, both online and offline. And we are trying to promote freedom of expression, but also making sure that hate speech is not perpetuated within the society, um, as we know that hate speech is a precursor to conflict and violence in different parts of the world. We also realize that youth play a huge role um, in our mandate and they're key drivers and key stakeholders in the peace building process, which is why we're having this uh, training with them. And at the end of the project, we're hoping that they would go back to their schools and their communities and will engage in peer education and teach their friends how to best engage with media, both online and offline. Fatu Kamara, a student from Nusa Senior Secondary School and Musa Jalo, a student from Tahir Ahmadiyya Senior Secondary School, both expressed their expectations for the three-day training. I'm willing to learn much about his speech because, as they said, it is a kind of speech that affects one's um, feelings and everything. So they said mostly young people are affected by it. Not only young people, but many out there. So they're here to um, tell us much about it, and I'm willing to learn much about it so that I can at least contribute to the fight against hate speech. My expectation here is to learn, you know, new things that I have not, you know, been informed before so that I can go and inform the uninformed people. Like those people that are in the school that does not have opportunities to come here. So I'm expected to learn more here and then go and deliver as much as I can so that they can also benefit from it. During this training, 34 students from UNESCO NATCOP affiliated schools will explore topics such as cybersecurity, data privacy and protection, countering hate speech and fact-checking. Reporting for Kerfatu, I am Ramotlai Jao.